Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Aki am out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And we're going to start here in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. It says, And Yahweh said unto me, Slogan, And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. And what is the vision? The vision is the Most High's will. Everything the Most High is going to do according to what he's spoken through the mouth of the prophets. They've been, they, they've been written upon tables, which is the Holy Bible. You see, that the prophets may run that read of it. And this is why you see us on these videos every day. This is why you see us on the highways and byways every week. You see, going into, going into current events, you see, and, and, and aligning it all uh, through the Holy Spirit uh, according to prophecy, man. You see, everything that's happening in the earth is what the Most High said will come to pass according to his will. And we're making it plain. You see? We're making it known over and over and over again. And as we continue to chant these words, we see it manifest more and more and more each and every day. Verse 3 says what? For the vision is yet. So back in verse, th uh, verse 3, Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And this is what we see going on, man. And what we're going to go into today is what we always go into. The mark of the beast. The MOTB. You see? And the system that they're rolling out. You see, getting into play. Or getting into place to make this thing mandatory, man. And beginning with our apostles and elders, man. We've been telling you this over and over and over again. And we're, and we're starting to see it be rolled out according to what the true prophets have been saying, man. So, let's get <clears throat> Second Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant to what this man is trying to do. We understand and know what Esau is coming with because we understand and know the Most High's will. Everything that Esau is doing in the earth, he's doing it because the Most High has ordained him to do it, to fulfill prophecy. You see? Like it tell you in the book of the, uh, 2 Thessalonians, only he who now let will let until he be taken out of the way. Everything that Esau is doing in the earth is all according to what the Most High's will is. It's the Most High's will for Esau to bring this MOTB system into place. It's, it's, it's the Most High's will for the uh, for Esau to make the MOTB mandatory. And we're seeing it being set up. Because when you go here, from Blacklisted News, it says what? Canada linked citizens' bank accounts to social credit score. You see? What is this going to lead to? This is leading to the MOTB being rolled out. Because we're going to get this article, we're going to read this whole thing, and we're just going to go into the prophecy, man. Because it's, it's right here. And you're going to see more nations, including America, adopt this type of system, man. Because this is, what they're, this is what they want to do in their new world order. This is what the WEF is all about. You see it? You see the banner behind them. This is what they're rolling out in the planet Earth. And, uh, and, and all the nations are going to be uh, right along with it. They, they're cool with it. Now, let's show you. It says what? In a major push to seize control of the public's financial freedom, Canada is radicalizing its banking system by linking citizens' bank accounts 
to a tyrannical social credit score. And we already know what that system is all about because we see what took place in uh, what takes place in China. You have to be on your best behavior or, or, or you have to move and maneuver how the government sees uh, sees fit for you to move and maneuver. You can't just be out here doing whatever you want to do because that affects how you're able to move and maneuver throughout society. Uh, Black Mirror, uh, season two, if I ain't mistaken, the uh, episode Nosedive illustrated that. When you're in line and uh, being a good little boy or a good little girl, you can have the goodies of society. You see, but you but you if, if you're moving in a way that the government doesn't seem uh, uh, doesn't deem right. They can penalize you and take away your access to different things in society. Including your own hard on your own hard earned funds that you work for. That's why it's being linked to your bank account. So they can so they can control <laughs> how you spend and how you save or how you use your funds. This is what's coming, man. <laughs> it's right here. It goes on to say, the Canadian banking system will soon be transformed by a so-called open banking framework. Proponents are framing this, this as a more inclusive way for banks to easily share information and access user data. However, the move will merge social, social standings with banking to provide governments and unelected bureaucrats at, with complete control over our finances. Exactly. You see? They're going to have complete control over your finances. This is why you see uh, uh, them pushing forth this, this carbon agenda. Social credit scores. So, so you can, once again, if you're not being a good citizen according to what the government deems a good citizen is, hey, you're going to have issues, man. If, you, if you're not okay with eating bugs and you're speaking out against it, you're being radical, guess what? They can cut your funds off. <laughs> cut off your access. This is the system that they're rolling out. And it's all in line with biblical prophecy. It's all in line with what the Most High said this devil will bring forth. It says what? The organization Open Bank Excellence a world bank partner that originated in the UK boasts that it will incorporate social credit scores and bank information and likely digital cash and IDs in one convenient and inclusive place. Are we not seeing the, uh, the uh, all the talks of the nations? Uh, uh, yeah, the nations talking about bringing forth CBDCs. Why is this? It's because the MOTB system is being rolled out. You see, convenient, no more carrying the wallet, no more identity theft. You see, no more bank accounts being hacked, so forth and so, so forth and so on, man. Says what, IDs? <laughs> Your ID, right? This is how they, this is going to be the new form of identification. And it's all going to be found on that chip. You're going to see once we get into the, uh, once we get into the scriptures, man. So it goes on to say, OBE, which has reached 40 countries aims to create exceptional platforms and content that promotes knowledge sharing, new thinking, and partnerships within the industry, catalyzing the adoption of open finance and data for better financial inclusion worldwide. You see, this is going to be a worldwide thing. Because what? They're ushering in the new world order. You see? The Great Reset, the Fourth Industrial Revolution. And they're going to force this upon everyone. How do we know? Because that's what it says in prophecy. This is what the Most I said would happen. It says what? It's about having, matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, let's get, that, let's get the first part of that prophecy real quick. Revelation 13. And 16, it says what? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, 
free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Once again, this is going to be worldwide. You see, this is going to be a worldwide system rolled out. This is why you see all these central banks all throughout the world getting on board with this. This is why you see all these different nations doing what? They're uh, putting together their CBDCs. Because this is this is this is a thing that's going to take place all throughout the world. He calls of all. You see, matter of fact, let's see what it says in the uh, NLT. Yep, Revelation thirteen and sixteen says what he required. He required everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on their right hand or in their forehead. It doesn't matter what your social status is in the society. If you want to be a part of this society, you're going to have to go along with this system. Just like he had, he uh, forced everyone to have a social uh, security card. You see, he, he forces you to have some form of ID, identification. It's going to be the same thing with this, and it's going to be mandatory eventually, man. It says what? It's about having the fairer one, the the fairer, more inclusive, more open society, said Helen Child, founder of Open Banking Excellence. Of course, open society is an ideology championed by radical billionaire George Sor Soros. You see? <laughs> which is a damn devil, man. Which involves open borders, no prisons, and rampant crime, among other progressive ideas. However, just a complete lawless society, man. However, the need for inclu inclusivity and fairness in banking is not explained, despite being repeatedly pushed by proponents of the plan. It drives financial inclusion, child claims, of the scheme. Is the is democratizing data. What child failed to mention is that data will be worth more than gold as we move forward with a cashless society. Because they want they want to be able to identify everyone. They want all of your data. Everything about you. And guess what is all and guess what is all going to be stored? It's going to be stored on that chip the size of a grain of rice that's going to be inserted between your thumb and your index finger. As they tell you they're going to do and all their news articles pertaining to this device. It's the same fucking thing. Operation Mockingbird, man. Just like they do on the news channels. They, they basically, mock, uh, basically mocking each other and they're saying the same damn thing. The same script. It's the same thing with the news articles when it comes to this RFID CHIP. It's the size of a grain of rice. It's the size of a grain of rice. It's the size of a grain of rice. They're getting that shit, you see, dug deep into your subconscious by hearing this. So when you're going through all this hell that they're going to bring the world into, you see, that this order out KO they're going to bring, subconsciously, you've already been programmed to think, oh, it's only the size of a grain of rice. Shit, my kid's starving. I haven't eaten in four days. You see, I want to go back to normal. I'm tired of suffering. I haven't had a shower in three, four weeks. <laughs> you see that, that 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 device the size of a grain of rice ain't gonna seem that bad in that time, because you're gonna want to end the suffering, and and that's the only way it will be able to end if is if you go along with this bullshit that Esau is pushing for. And we know and understand, man. Hey, if you go along with this as an Israelite, as a so-called Black Hispanic and Native American, we know what your hey, we know that if you go along with this, man, you're gonna be destroyed. But once again, this is the system that this man is rolling out. All these things that these different countries are doing, them uh, developing CBDCs, that shit is not a coincidence, man. They're all getting ready to get on board with this MOTB system, man. It's coming. A cashless society is coming, and you're starting to see more and more uh, businesses, storefronts, they're doing what? They're not. They're no longer accepting cash, man. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it says what? It goes on to say there is no easier way to control the masses than to control their access to money, exactly, and their ability to buy, trade, and freely move about. And that's what the prophecy says. 
If you don't go along with this system, what this man is rolling out, you're not going to be able to move and maneuver throughout society as you're doing now. To operate and function in this, in this man's, in this future society that the, the, uh, these damn devils are trying to roll out, you're going to have to get down with the program. You're going to have to be pricked up and have this device inserted into your body, man. And even and, and then when you and then when you do get it, they they're going to be able to dictate and control how you st still how you move and maneuver. You see, so let's keep going. Let's see. Uh, it says what the Canadian press outlined that true motive, the true motive in the in plain sight. One of the biggest areas of growth is in credit assessments. Under open banking, lenders could directly access an individual's banking data so they can look beyond credit scores. Consumers can also use it to build their credit scores, for example, by providing reliable rent payments. You see? You just got all your information. You see, at the, at, at the tip of their fingertips. Everything about you. It says what? Looking beyond credit scores equates to determining if a person is fit to participate in in the global economy based on their personal views. So if you <laughs> so if you if you ain't cool if you're not uh okay with your son being a woman and you voice that cut his chip off. <laughs> you see if you're a man and you're not okay with your woman ruling over you, hey cut his chip off. You tired of eating these damn these uh these bug steaks and you want real meat again and you voicing that opinion, you see, <laughs> cut his chip off. This is what this shit is coming coming to, some real life nineteen eighty four type shit. You see, you speaking out against the the, the wicked rulers of this world. They catch you mummering. <laughs> hey, cut this chip off. Take his social credit score down 55 points. That'll show him. Now you got you only got access to ramen noodles. <laughs> uh, you probably won't even have ramen. It'd probably be some damn bug noodles or some shit. You see? This is what these devils are trying to bring forth with this new world order, man. You're not just going to be able to voice your opinion, you know, that freedom of speech shit, <laughs> in this new system that Esau is rolling out because they will punish you. They're going to they they drop your social credit score and they're going to limit the access to your own funds. You see? Look at this. As Canada... Now, listen to this. As Canada continues to crack down on so-called hate, the next step will inevitably be to block citizens from accessing their money if they're suspected of wrong think. Wrong think. What is that? Anything that opposes their viewpoints. So we know and understand that we we not going to be... <laughs> we we not going to be in this system. Because we, we definitely going to be accused of wrong think. Because our... A, our mentality is a righteous mentality. Our way of thinking is a righteous way of thinking, man. According, you see, righteousness according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All this shit that Esau is pushing forth, hey, the men of the Lord, we're not with this shit. And we're constantly voicing that by doing these videos. We're constantly voicing that, hey, in the chief place of concourse every weekend. Telling this man that he's going down for this madness that he's trying to that he's trying to bring forth. So the prophet is definitely not going to be a part of this new system. Wrong think. You see that? This is why they're pushing forth these laws and legislations because they're about to push this new system out, so they can have the framework of the laws to punish you. Accordingly, man.
You see? Then it goes into a few events that already took place where they were freezing people's accounts. You see? Bank of America, if people couldn't get in, into their accounts, you got this guy here, uh, uh, Faraj, Faraj or whatever. Hey, hey, he was debanked. It's showing you where it's going, man. His credit cards were deactivated. He was unable to participate in society without a, a, without a moment's notice. Just cut your ass off in an instant. Went to the ATM. He couldn't even get in get into your shit. That's what's coming. This is the this is the system that Esau want or is rolling out. It says what well, Faraj did his due diligence and found that countless people had experienced the same financial attack carried out by banks on behalf of the government. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? What else we got? In China, the, when banks were facing a liquid a liquidity crisis, the Chinese Communist Party simply denied the depositors the right to access their money. That's the type of system they want to have over here. And we've already seen a few instances of that. The Bank of America incident a few months, well, uh, last year. People can get into their accounts. Hey, shit, money was gone. <laughs> man, this is the system they're bringing, man. Let me see what else we got. Let's get to the point right here. It says, well, all of these actions are set on the stage for how central bank digital currency will operate. Once CBDCs are rolled out for the for public use, the system will be a collective network containing everyone's personal data, digital ID, social credit score, V status, and money. You see, governments have already begun debunking individuals. You see that? This is the system that Esau is rolling out and is all in line with biblical prophecy. So let's read it. Revelation 13 and 16, it says what? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. This is what this man is pushing out and he's going to force it upon everyone. Are we not seeing them put, uh, uh hey, look at, look at fucking Sweden, man. Was it Sweden? Yeah. That was the fucking test bed during the time of the pandemic. <laughs> Over 5,000 people had gotten uh, that device put up in them, man. They, they're fully ready to go with it. That's how they're moving and operating over there with this device put up in them. And this is the same system, system they want to roll out throughout the rest of the world, man. And this will be forced upon everyone. Now it goes on to say, and that no man might buy or sell uh, Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see that? And if you don't want to go along with this system, you're not going to be able to buy or sell, move or maneuver in this society as you're doing now. Because this is going to, hey, this new system they're rolling out is going to be the only way eventually. No more grocery stores, no more restaurants, no more gas. You see? And it's gonna get to the point to where you're not gonna be you you're not gonna even be able to uh like you see Netflix and shit right now. All that shit is gonna be uh tied into that system as well, man. That's why all this shit is going digital. So they can have complete control over everything. If your social credit score is too low, your ass won't even be able to watch Netflix. This is why everything is going digital, man. It's because of, uh, this, this is the new system that Esau is rolling out. And it's all in line with what's written in the scriptures. Uh, hey, that, what the Most High ordained it to be from the beginning. Now, when we go into this word mark, right? Because we read how it's going to be information stored, right? They, they're going to have a, you're going to be a part of this digital society. But what they're not telling you is, where that information is going to be stored. It's going to be stored on an RFID CHIP. You see? 
that's where all the information is going to be stored. And that, and they're going to put that device up under your skin. So this is why you can go into the store. You got your digital wallet on, on the CHIP. You can swipe it. You can get into buildings. You see? Access ATM, so forth and so on. That's going to be the new, that's going to be your new key to society. And the government is going to have access to cut that off anytime they please when they feel like you're not being an upstanding, uh, citizen in this new world order this is what's coming now when you go into this word for market goes into uh karagma strong g 5480 karagma it goes on what a stamp and a printed mark letting you know it's something physical not like these clowns i hear telling you it's a spiritual mark no this is something physical that they're gonna put in your body you see It says what of, of of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti mashiach No, that's not what it is. Because first of all, there there are more. There's more than one antichrist. Anyone who's against the will of the Most High coming to pass, you're an antichrist. You see, if you are against the doctrine that the true men of the Lord are pushing for, you see. The understanding of the Most High's will that we're giving you, if you're against that, you are an Antichrist. And that's everyone outside of the remnant. Now it goes on to say, definition B, that what? The mark branded upon horses. Once again, showing you it's a physical mark. And why would you brand your horse? You will brand your horse. You will have the brand with your initials on it or you have your farm name on it. You will heat it up. Brand the horse or the cattle or the sheep or whatever. So say if they got out, someone found it, they would see your initials or your farm name or your trademark or whatever it may be. They would know that piece of cattle belong to you. It's the same thing with this device. They want to put this in you to show that they have ownership over you, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, because they know that you are the Israelites, the most highest chosen people. This is why they're doing this. This is why when it comes, they're going to come to you with it first. Just like they came to you first with that damn, uh, that jump shot, man. Even laid it out in the article, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to get the jump shot first. That's what they said. <laughs> So we know who the main targets are. This is why we tell you we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We see exactly what this man is trying to do. See, the heathen, all the nations outside of Israel, you see, all the nations outside of the 12 tribes, they can go and get as many fucking devices put into their body all they want. The most I don't give a damn about that. But you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you've been commanded not to get this device put up in you because you belong to the almighty God Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah. You see? Now let's go into the root word of this. It's what? Karax. It says what? A pale stake of palisade. Once again, let you know it's something physical. Now, when you go into this word for stake, you're going to do a web search on the word stake, right? It's going to bring you to a definition. It should have brought you to a definition. Let's do it like this. You know what? Let's just copy it. Right? Steak. We're going to go to the second definition because we was talking about this. No, I'm sorry. The origin of the word. <laughs> yep, the origin of the word. Old English, the ka, of which Germanic origin related to Dutch, the ak. Also, stick to. Now, when you go into stick to, right? It takes you down to what? Stake, uh, stick to. Push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. What's the sharp or pointed object? The sharp and pointed object, the sharp or pointed object, pointed object is going to be that uh
is going to be that hypothermic, uh, fuck it, that hypothermic, uh, the, the fucking needle they're going to use to insert the device upon your skin. Fuck it, man. You see, and this is how we know that what we're saying is the MOTB because you got to you got to find fucking code words to try to explain it now. This is how we, we know what we're saying is the truth. Because how how much we're being censored on because we're bringing this stuff out. They're gonna take a fucking needle, put the put the device into the needle, and put it up under your skin. You see, it says what. Push a sharp or pointed object into or through something. They're gonna take that needle and put and put that device in it and put it up under your skin. Thrust, push, insert. They're gonna jab you with it. Dig, plunge it into your hand between your index finger and your thumb. Thumb. It says what? Insert, thrust, push. You get the point, right? Now we're gonna come back to this. And show you how it all ties together now. When we go back to get rid of that, we go back to this. Right? So we see that it's something physical, something that they actually want to put into you according to what the words say. You see, according to these definitions, man. See, Esau is not gonna give you a spiritual mark because Esau is not a spiritual man. The spiritual mark is gonna come from the Almighty God through his son Yahweh Shah. That the wa, that mark of his entry for judgment. You see, for the elect of Israel. Now, when we go into the word, the root word for Karax, it goes into what? Grapho. Strong's G, 1125. Grapho. Grapho. Right? It goes into what? To write with the reference. To write with reference to form, to the form of the letters. To delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment paper, parchment paper, or other material. Right? To write with reference to the contents of the writing, to express in written characters, to commit to writing things not to be forgotten, write down, record. What is that? That's data. Information not to be forgotten is what? Let's go back to that article real quick. What, what did they say they were going to have on this device? They did not tell you it was going to have what? Everyone's personal data. Height, eye color, weight, blood type. You see? Your address. Driver's license number. Insurance information. The, the digital ID, you see that? Social credit score. V status. And money on a what? On a digital wallet. What's all that? That's all data pertaining to that person. Recorded information. You see that? For each individual. That's what this is. You see? To write to one, i.e. by writing in a, writ in a written epistle, to give information, directions, to fill with writing. And when you write stuff down, what is that? That's data, man. And it's all going to be stored on that RFID CHIP. Now let's go back. Oh, I'm sorry. We got to go. We got to go one more. Oh, no, we don't. We, we good. So now it says what? Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the or the number of his name. You hear that? You are going to have to have this to move and maneuver in society. And if you don't, you're going to be an outcast. You're going to be blacklisted. No more access to Esau's goodies without this device. We're telling you that this is what's coming and we see them setting it up. They're setting up the system to roll this thing out, man. It goes on to say, verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast 
for it is the number of a man. You see that, that the man is going into the elite of Esau Edom, man. The ones who are behind the scenes pulling the strings for these puppet heads that we see like Justin Trudeau, like Klaus Schwab and all that shit. They have handlers above them. You see, uh, telling them to run this play, to do this, to do that, to do this, bring this forth, set up this system. You see? But it all goes back to the, to the elite of Esau Edom, the elite of the so-called white race, going back to the international banking families, man. And it says what? And his number is 603 score and 6, right? 666. Now, when we go into this, now and they changed it because it used to just say Chai Sai Stigma right here. <laughs> but they changed it. Why? It's because they hear the prophets, man. They're watching these videos. We're exposing them, and, and that's exactly what the Most High said would be doing here in the last days. Then shall the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That's what we're doing. Everything this man is trying, every play this man is trying to run, we're calling it out before he even runs it. You see? And then, and then he does exactly what we say he was going to do because we understand what's going on. It's all playing out according to what the Most High said will play out. You see? Now it's Chai Sai Stigma. Yup. And we got stigma right here. Let's go into this word for stigma. Stigma. Now watch. Now it goes back. Let's go to the origin of the word. It goes into what? Late 16th century, denoting a mark made by pricking or branding via Latin from Greek. Via Latin from Greek. Stigma. A mark made by a pointed instrument. Once again, what's the pointed instrument, man? The the uh, apparatus, that's a better word, the apparatus they're going to use to put this device up under your skin. You Got to find different words just even to break this down now because they're so, they're, they're so fucking honed in into censoring this. So it says, what, well, a mark made by a pointed instrument. The pointed instrument is the apparatus they're going to use to put the device up under your skin between your index finger and your thumb. Showing you is something physical. Now it tells you. Now this is how Esau Esau is a damn devil right here, right? It says related to stick one. No, it's not. You see, because stick one goes into a thin piece of wood and all this other BS. But it it actually goes back to stick two because you have to read this in the context. And it goes into what? Push a sharp or pointed object into into or through something, taking us back to what? Steak. You see, from carox, which is the root, root word for what? Caragma. Which is what? The mark. This is what these devils are coming with. A physical device they want to put into your body. And they're already running trial runs with the with the neural link, which is one in your forehead, the, the MOTB in your forehead. So this is <laughs> come on man. They already they already ran the test run with the Swedes <laughs> during the time of the lockdown. Well, you had over 5,000 people getting it. You had hey, you had them running test, test runs over here in different companies. What, what was it? Uh, three Square Market. Well, you had em, uh, employees of this company getting the device put into their skin so they could operate vending machines and open doors. Had their badge information on so they can just badge into the building with this device. And there's many other articles you can go and find on it to show you what it really is. So when it comes, man, you cannot say you have not been warned. You can't say you haven't been warned, man. And look what stick takes you back to. Stick two takes you back to what? Old English stician of Germanic origin related to German stickin and broader from the Euro Indo-European roots shared by Greek stician to prick. Once again, the prick is going to come from the apparatus they're going to use to put the device under your skin. Or shit, or the, 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 the prick they're going to use, uh, the, appar the apparatus they're going to put, uh, use to put that motherfucker in your, uh, in your head, just like they did with the Neuralink. <laughs> you see? And it goes back to what? Stigma. A mark. And, and, Latin, and, well, and Latin, instigare, spur on, 
early senses included, pierce. He's going to pierce you with this to put the... the come on, man. You see it. Look. There ain't going to be no fucking excuse when it comes. And we're here to tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans what your fate is if you go along with what Esau is coming with. Because we're telling you that this is not your rest. This is not our kingdom. We are to wait upon Yahweh Shai and then we will live. But once hey, the majority of you are going to go along with it and you're going to be destroyed here in this place as it is written. But you won't be able to say you haven't been warned, man. Revelation 14 and 9, it says what? Doom for the worshipers of the beast. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, which is Esau's power structure and his image, his way of life, if you're okay with this WEF and everything that shit stands for, you worship the image of the beast, man. Just, just wickedness. <laughs> they told you what kind of fucking uh, society George Sor Soros wants. That's how all these damn devils think. Just a complete lawless and uh, society, man. A complete lawless and wicked society. Where you can just do as thou wilt. Satanism. That's his image. Satanism, man. This whole setup of America is based and founded upon Satanism. So if you're okay with that, man, the Most High is going to destroy you. And it says what? And receive his mark in his forehead, which is the neural link or any type of brain computer interface, or in his hand, the RFID CHIP, the size of a grain of rice that they're going to insert into your hand between your index finger and your thumb. <laughs> you see, what does it say is going to happen to you? Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You're going to be destroyed in that nuclear fire that's coming to uh, uh that's coming to America, man, in the form of 200 million warheads. That's your fate if you go along with this bullshit that Esau is pushing forth, and you won't be able to say you haven't been warned because the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, have been warning you of this for decades now. And we're, and we're witnessing it manifest more and more each and every day. So once again, if you go along with this bullshit, the Most High is going to burn you the fuck up right along with America, man. Verse 11 says what? And the smoke of their torment ascend up forever and ever, and they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. There it is, man. And these devils are coming with it. They're coming with it. So expect to see uh, more nations starting to roll systems like this out, including America. But you, and you're gonna see. You're gonna see exactly. Hey, the prophets have warned you, man, over and over and over again. The blood is off of our hands, and we're gonna continue to warn you. You see, because that's our job. Let's end it on this one, man. Ezekiel. Yep. Ezekiel 33 and 33, it says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then they shall know that a prophet have been among them. So with that, man, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I came out there pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Baba.